McLaughlin. Minister, today at Letterkenny University Hospital, there were 10 ambulances backed up at the emergency department. An unprecedented crisis uh, in that department in terms of staffing. Uh, morale is extremely low. Um, and this is a build-up of a failure to invest in beds, nurses and doctors at the hospital for far too many years. If you look at the size of Letterkenny University Hospital, the major acute hospital in Donegal, it's the sixth largest hospital in the state. Over 23,000 inpatients every year. The sixth largest, a major hospital. But if you look at the funding for the hospital, it's down around 13th or 14th. It's been clear for so many years that it has not received the budget that it requires. You have a profound crisis of morale of staff in that hospital, but yet they go to work every day in what can only be described as heroic circumstances. But they're tired of being called heroes. They need the backing. And I want to say this, that that crisis feeds into the waiting list crisis. And if you look at right now, just in Letterkenny alone, if you throw in Sligo, it's even more. But there are 21,500, 21,500 men, women and children on the waiting list for Letterkenny Hospital alone. If you add Sligo, it's probably about 25, 26,000 men, women and children out of a population of 160,000 that are on waiting lists, many of them for over a year, over two years. This is the crisis that's created of years of neglect. Community hospitals in Donegal, one in four, one in four beds cut in the last 15 years in community hospitals. So you're cutting community hospitals, you're not resourcing the major hospital, uh, and the impact is what you see today, 10 ambulances backed up, staff at crisis point. Minister, I'm asking you again, please go and personally visit Letterkenny University Hospital as soon as possible, speak to the unions, speak to the staff, and speak to the management, and make the intervention that's required. Thank you, Charlie.